Hey there, gentle people. Thank you for joining me for another video. It is Loy here. And if you have been with me so far, thank you very much. I appreciate you. And if it is, this is your first time, thank you very much for joining me. And I hope you find these tips helpful. Today, I'm going to show you how to work with a watercolor block. And this is the Arches watercolor paper. It's cold press, 140 pounds. It's pure cotton. It's made in France. And just to give you a little background on the history of Arches, and you know, I'm a total history buff. So it's a professional grade watercolor paper and it's very high quality. So it's pretty much been made in the same place in France since the 1400s. And the watercolor paper on this, it has like a watermark just to show you that it's authentic. And it has what is called the sizing that they put on at the last part of the manufacturing process. So it puts like a gelatin on the paper and it makes the paper have this kind consistent feel and it's very absorbent so Arsh's paper the 140 pound cold press is very good for all wet techniques you can use it for watercolor you can use it for gouache you can use it for ink as well as acrylic so the blocks as you can see right here it has a, a type of glue around all the edges pretty much and that holds the paper securely so what that means is as you're working using these wet techniques the paper it will prevent the paper from buckling when you open the arches this is what it looks like so the top layer obviously is not for you to paint on unless you want to do something crazy with it what you see right here is the opening and this is where you'll slide whatever tool it is you're gonna use to slip the paper off so I have a palette knife here and pretty much what you do you just take the palette knife and you slip it under if you have a letter opener that would work too I'm gonna put this down flat so I have some more leverage here and you just kind of slide it under the edges Try to do it in one clean go. I kind of messed up right there. Let me go around to the other side. Instead of, try not to do it jaggy, jaggy, jaggy. Just try to do it in one fell swoop, all right? And then you'll be able to get it off like that. So let's go around the other edge. Ooh, there we go. And the other edge. Almost. And there we go. All right, so you take your top layer off and you pretty much have some of the best watercolor paper in the world to work with at this point in time. So like I said, it's glued down around the sides. So you just brush off all that fuzz when you're ready to get started and you have a watercolor block ready to go. And when you're ready to take your top layer off that you just worked on, you put your implements, whatever it is that you're using. And remember not to hitch, 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 just kind of give it one clean go around the edges and you are good to go so arches has watercolor blocks uh, strathmore has watercolor blocks as well and i really love them because it makes it convenient you don't have to worry about you know taping down your watercolor paper or anything so definitely try it hope this was helpful and i would love if you subscribe because i have a lot more to share with you thank you so much and as always i appreciate your time and i appreciate your presence and i will see you soon Peace.